Hey guys, it's me, Kara, and today we're going to be drawing an illustration in my Illo sketchbook. This is the same sketchbook that Drawing with Waffles has, so I'm really excited to share this video with you guys, and let's get into it and see what we can come up with. First thing is that I put my butterfly sticker on my sketch page because I'm feeling really inspired by this sticker. I want to come up with some type of butterfly princess, maybe? Question mark? I'm not sure what she is, but some type of woman wearing a butterfly dress, whatever that means for her. So I started off drawing out some different ideas. I thought a skirt could be a good possibility. I didn't want to do just wings. I wanted to be a little more outside of the box. So just started messing around with the idea of a skirt and it didn't flow and it wasn't as dramatic as I would have hoped. So I decided to try and do a dress instead. I thought the dress would be more obvious that she was a princess since, you know, princesses wear the ball gowns. So that's what I decided to go with eventually. After I finished drawing the dress, I realized that I'd never turned my lights on. So that's me correcting and fixing the lights. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit better now and the video is a little bit more clear about what I'm doing. But here now I'm just drawing the same dress, but with a pose. That way I can see what kind of pose I want her to be doing in the final illustration. Now that I'm done with all of my preliminary sketches, I can get started on the final illustration. So here I am just re-sketching everything out, making sure it all looks how I want it to look and is in line with what I had in my mind, what I envisioned for this butterfly princess to look like. I wanted the dress to be sort of a drop waist ball gown. Um, I only know that term. I mean, it's not that complicated of a term, but I only know that term because of Say Us the Dress. So, shout out to them. Um, this is a drop waist ball gown, and I wanted it to feel magical and fantasy-like. So, that's the vibe I'm going for. Pretty dramatic and a little bit unique. I'm not going to lie, re-sketching for the final sketch is not my favorite. It's really hard for me to want to redo something that I've already done. Like, I was already happy with the sketches in the thumbnail. And now, because I drew thumbnails, I have to redraw what I already liked in it. And I understand the importance of a thumbnail because it helps you to, you know, fully envision your vision. But sometimes they're a little bit frustrating, so... Not gonna lie, this is not my favorite part, but it is a necessary step. So I keep on going, we'll get through it, and it'll be worth it in the end. Something else you may have noticed about my thumbnails is their lack of hands. Um, I wasn't gonna do that. Uh, I know it's a group struggle, which I'm thankful for. It makes me not feel so alone, but hands are very hard for me to draw. So if I could avoid drawing them as many times as possible, I was going to. So I did. Oh, I'm pulling out my oh hoo hoo. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. Just forewarning, not sure if that's how you say it. So feel free to let me know how you're supposed to say it. Let me know the phonetics in the comment section down below because yeah, I'm gonna admit I don't know how to say it. So those are all the colors that I'm going to be using in this sketch. So I'll just push those off to the side for now and we can get started on the outline of my drawing. This, however, is one of my favorite parts. It's when you get to finalize and make this sketch perfect or you get to mess it all up and it's like a game. Like you never know which one it's gonna be. So it's just a lot of fun to see like hey did I mess it up or is it better now and then I erase the underneath pencil sketch and now I can get started on the actual colors that will be in the drawing I know that our inspiration butterfly is blue but I did play with the idea of making the dress an orange butterfly instead but uh, my limitation of ohuhu markers if I'm saying that right did not allow me to do that so instead I did decide to go with the blue butterfly and stick more closely to the inspiration of the sticker. I will say that the colors don't really look like that butterfly because I'm quite limited 
on my color choice with the amount of ohuhu markers that I have. So I did my best with what I have and yeah, I think it came out okay. You let me know. So with that being said, I decided to make the bodice of the dress, another word I know because of Say Yes the Dress, dark blue. So that's what I did. I made the bodice dark blue and then I decided to take the dark blue down into the deeper colors of what would be the butterfly's wings. So like thinking about where the black would be, I'm not doing black, I'm doing a really dark navy blue. Then as I was detailing the shoulder butterfly, my marker kind of exploded, leaked. It didn't really like burst or anything, but it did start leaking. But thankfully, hubby came in with a napkin and saved the day. So it was all okay and we could continue working. And I'm not really sure why the marker exploded. That definitely could have been my fault, but it's okay. It all worked out and we were able to use it for what we needed. And it did get my hands all dirty, but no worries. That's kind of what happens when you do any sort of art. I then tried to go in with my skin colored Ohu, but this one has run out of ink and it was really hard to open. So it made me shake you guys all around. So yeah, a little stressful there and it felt a little pointless. It really didn't give a lot of color at all, but I tried my best with what it was giving me. It's just out of ink, unfortunately. So that's what I have. And again, I have a very limited selection of Ohuhu markers. <laughs> I keep saying that, but I really don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> but I have a limited selection, so I'm just working with what I have. And then I was able to work on her cloak. So for the cloak, I didn't want it to match the rest of everything because I feel like we would get kind of overwhelmed with all of the just variants of blue. So this is a kind of blue, but it's also more purple and a little bit softer of a color. It's not as harsh and in your face as some of the blues that I'm going to be using later. So I thought this would be the perfect sort of neutral blue purple to go behind the dress. Now here come in some of those bright blues that we were talking about before. So it takes me a lot of different layers before I'm happy with the color and before it starts to look like what I had envisioned it to look like. So this is me just going over and over and over and over and over, sometimes with the same color for reasons that are unknown to me. Um, but eventually we get there and then I'm going to try and add some blush and more color to the face since I was out of my marker before. And now for the fun, fun, most fun part ever, the gel pens, okay? Gel pens are magical, magical things. If you've never used a gel pen, if you don't have gel pens, specifically, if you don't have these sparkly gel pens, you're missing out on a vital piece of life, okay? These things are incredibly fun to draw with. I don't know why. I can't explain it. They are so smooth and it is so cool to draw with glitter. So I might have gone a little overboard, but it's really hard not to, okay? If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't know why I couldn't control myself using these gel pens, you really need to get some, okay? I'm not even being dramatic about this. They are incredible and they might change your life. So go get you some gel pens, all right? And uh, no, this isn't sponsored, but again, it should be. It really should be. So I kept on using the gel pens until there really wasn't any possible space left for me to use the gel pens on. I also brought in some silver, which is a little bit darker. You can't really see it, but later I'll show you in the light that you can see it really well, like in certain reflections. So I thought it added an extra layer of depth and dimension. So you can't see it. It's not as in your face as the white. However, when it hits certain lights, it's all worth putting in there and it's really pretty. So I'm excited for you guys to see that at the end. Definitely the area that I spent the most time in this drawing is with the gel pens because like I said several times already, I am addicted and there just can't really be enough sparkle 
and enough glitter and I really thought it was adding to the look that I was going for the overall magical and princessy look that I was going for so after I was finally content with all of the glitter that I had added I signed my name also in a glitter gel pen and I was able to show you guys the sparkle that I was talking about before so when it hits the highlight the silver just oh yeah takes it to the next level makes me so excited hope it makes you guys excited too thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one